Hello and welcome to today's reading. As you can see, I have two piles of cards here. So yes, it is a pick a card um, reading today. So we have pile number one and pile number two. So think of your question. You can close your eyes if you really want to, just to take a deep breath and focus on your question. And if your question involves another, you might want to visualize them. And just ask your angels and guides for what you'd like to hear a message about and some clarity. And hopefully I can give that to you in this reading. All right, so pile number one and pile number two, which one draws you to it? Some of you may feel both have messages for you and that's okay too. All right, let's begin with pile number one. I hope you're all doing really well. Now let's go ahead and see what messages there are for those of you who chose pile number one. All right, straight up we have the sun. The sun is awesome. It's talking about success, victory, triumph, believing in yourself and achieving, okay, achieving good things, happiness, freedom. We have an exciting new beginning card with the Ace of Wands. Ace of Wands is all about something new that's pretty exciting. Starting a new, <coughs> excuse me, a new venture in life or perhaps planning a holiday. You know, something very exciting um, that's about to begin in your life. The Magician. The Magician is saying that you have everything that you need in order to make it, to go forward in life, to be successful in, at what it is that you would like to do. Now, this could very well be a job interview for some of you. Three of Pentacles is talking about an observation in regards to one's craft, meaning that the scholars are actually observing this craftsman and very happy with his perfection. He's perfected his art. He's amazing at what he does. People come from far and wide for this person, craftsman, to, you know, I guess, do things, make things as a blacksmith um, for, for people far and wide because he's highly sought after. He's got a big name for himself or herself. So this is really saying that you can achieve these goals, these things in your life to be sought after for, you know, whether it's your services, if you are an entrepreneur or perhaps, you know, talking about you at work, people observe you and they can see that you do a job well done. The emperor... The Emperor in between the Sun and the Wand. The Emperor has achieved total responsibility because that is what he does. The Emperor. The Emperor may be a male or a female. It is mostly saying about taking control of something in our life. Okay, the Sun is saying victory, triumph. We can take control in our life. We have done something good to help someone. Perhaps we've, you know, um, I guess trained many staff for the company. Whatever it may be, you're very good at what you're doing. And this is going to open up new opportunities for you. Okay, here comes a proposal. An offer that you will love. The Knight of Cups is not the fastest horse in the race. 
um, the Knight of Cups is actually something that comes in a matter of months. So there may have been a romantic suitor around you for a few months now, okay? And this person may want to make a proposal, like for instance, let's take it to the next level. Whatever this proposal is comes at a time of exciting new beginnings in your life while you are manifesting things, making things happen, law of attraction, this wonderful proposal comes. All right, we have five of cups. Now, five of cups is saying, <laughs> excuse me, we may have a moment of reflection on some things in our life. We may have a moment of regret about something, some sadness, um, feeling, you know, like maybe I should have done the other thing instead of this thing and maybe I'd be happier because you can see the character is facing the cups that have spilled over. So it's, it's, take, it's about taking a moment to reflect on some things that may have made you sad in the past, the people that you missed. Things that, you know, like you kind of think about and long for or whatever it may be. And just feeling like, yeah, like I totally feel that way about that situation. And maybe, you know, I am still healing on some level after that relationship 10 years ago or something. That is kind of the Five of Cups card. It's just turning back and looking at your past and saying, yeah, okay, yeah, that was sad that that happened to me or that person and yeah i did go through some grief and i did feel really you know whatever it may be heartbroken or remorseful or whatever however this character has two cups upright and the two cups upright are indicating that that they've still got things that they need to do in the future and they've still got a lot to look forward to in the future as well you know not all is lost because they're feeling a moment of sadness about something from their past you know the buzz built over might mean they are still healing from that now this may be you or this may be someone around you somebody is coming towards you and they're going to tell you something but you know whatever they tell you it could be coming from a place of sadness a place of regret about something from the past maybe they want to apologize about something, you know, because this person is coming towards you talking about something from their past that makes them really sad. Okay, but, you know, they, they just need that moment with you just to come and tell you, by the way, I'm really sad about this and that and this and that, whatever it may be, at a time when you're actually going through some pretty exciting changes. So we've got the strength card with the emperor and the sun. The sun shines the light on the surrounding cards, okay? Illuminates every single thing. The sun is shining the light on this emperor and the wands and now the strength card and the knight of cups, okay? Shining its light saying these things are important. You have someone around you that is ultimately very loyal towards you, a protective person. And the emperor would be that they uh, assume great responsibility over loyalty and fidelity and, you know, making you their top priority. Okay, so, and for the emperor to be there, like I said, this is coming from the utmost loyalty with the strength card. The emperor is Aries and strength is Leo. And I believe that the magician is Gemini. However, you can correct me if I'm wrong. So we do have this person is coming, illuminating the fact that they take great responsibility upon being very loyal to you and they may come in and say five of cups because the reason that 
loyalty and that is of utmost importance and responsibility in this connection it may very well be that they've been hurt in the past and that's the spilt over cups that they're still healing from but they can see they've got a lot to look forward to with you next up we have temperance temperance is the energy of patience okay also mild manner mannerisms in someone it's about that um, calmness someone who is you know just really chilled out that you can tell anything to that's really calm and accepting no judgments and they're just you know they're really cool to, to talk to and they will listen to you undividedly so temperance so it's temperance by the way it's sagittarius the knight of cups is coming with temperance to reflect upon some regrets in their past okay one more card and then i'll go with the big deck a king of swords king of swords is sometimes an air sign male Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Sometimes the King of Swords is telling us about someone who has information and knowledge. All right, the King of Swords is someone who does a lot of research, does a lot of study, and is very, very much into um, questions and proof of everything. They need to know the absolute proof and truth. <laughs> um, so this could very well be you trying to or needing to find out if your person is actually genuine or what's their story. Because illuminating utmost responsibility to be loyal coming at you with some sadness and, and you know remorse about their own past but having to look forward to being with you and then the ace of wands a very exciting time of your life and making things happen manifesting and then the observations here perhaps you can observe that your person um, how they are towards you and that may give you hints on whether what they're saying is true. However, Tarot is currently saying that loyalty is of utmost importance to your person and you may be trying to find more info out about them. All right, with the King of Swords, I met. Now let's go ahead and see what the clarifiers have for you. Let me know how this resonates, whether it makes sense for you or not. We have the Three of Wands. Three of Wands is something that we've been planning for our future is almost here something that we've been planning is coming to fruition okay much like the magician card you've been manifesting now three of wands is you can actually see your ships coming in knight of swords quicker than what you thought knight of swords is the fastest horse in tarot a matter of days so you're successes victories triumphs your visions your law of attraction manifesting is actually coming to fruition in the next less than a week because swords are days and ones are weeks you may have been waiting like 12 weeks three six or oh, uh, nine weeks sorry not 12 but nine weeks maybe for this situation to actually um come to fruition because sometimes that's how they add it up <laughs> how long the time span is for each card the knight of swords is a matter of days king of pentacles could be an earth sign male taurus virgo or a capricorn however the king of pentacles is also someone that is on top of their finances a great financial advisor might be around you or someone who's very good at juggling their money and they know how to make money and they know how to keep money and use money and bring the money in 
and spend the money. <laughs> so the King of Pentacles is all about money and someone who's very good at using it. Okay, also making it. The King of Pentacles is the ultimate business person. This may be you, whether you're male or female, or someone around you. We have competition or inner conflict and turmoil. Never fear, this is going to quickly dissolve with the Ace of Swords. The Ace of Swords cuts through the Five of Wands. Five of Wands is about conflict, whether it is externally with someone else or it could very well be a conflicting mind where you yourself within are actually conflicted in regards to something that's happening may be coming in quicker than what you are anticipating with the three of wands and knight of swords okay um and you're like trying to figure things out so ace of swords is clarity you're going to have clarity it could be this king of pentacles helps you sort out your inner turmoils and conflicts and gives you some clarity the full definitely a new beginning coming for you um and it doesn't really say what the new beginning is all i can see is that there are, are possibly questions or um needing confirmation that someone is the right person for you that they are loyal and true and all that stuff and i feel that there is going to be uh, pouring out of hearts according to this reading where you and your person are actually going to have heart to heart sharing pouring your hearts out to each other maybe a few tears temperances that is going to be very calm relaxed atmosphere with the two of you okay however they want to tell you everything all right so that was that spread and the next spread is that Things that you've been anticipating in the future are coming quicker towards you than what you first thought they would. And so this may turn you a little bit upside down because you don't know how to deal with something coming at you so quickly, which is actually quite positive. Uh, it could be this relationship. Your person wants you to um, go to the next level and you're kind of not sure or something like that. Okay, and that may be why you've got the inner turmoil and conflict, but there is someone around you that's actually going to help you clear things up on a fresh start, jumping in with two feet. So that is what the fool is saying. So you may take a leap of faith with whoever this person is, whether it's work-related or just a friendship or a sibling or a best friend or even a partner or someone that you're getting to know that you're kind of crushing on and they they like you too i don't know but all i know is there's going to be a beautiful connection between you and someone and you're going to share beautiful stories about your past and you're going to help heal each other all right i hope you enjoyed that deck number one people and let's go ahead and have, have a look at those of you who chose deck number two or pile number two, should I say. So for this one, I'm going to start off with these cards. All right. So what does pile number two need to know? What messages are there? Alrighty. First message. Six of Pentacles. Six of Pentacles is all about sharing. It's all about um, giving of either your money, um, like sharing your home, opening up your home to help someone. It's about um, giving to charity, also being quite generous in that like helping out could very well be if it's not monetary you could be talking about spreading yourself out to to help or be there for other people in your life okay so it, it's just like about um sharing on some level so let's go ahead and see what this has 
for us. A Knight of Cups. Ooh. Knight of Cups is someone who's very romantic and probably coming towards you. Okay, wanting to, you know, I guess um, just to really love you and care for you and just, you know, maybe wine and dine you and take you out and treat you nicely. A Knight of Cups is a very romantic person um, coming towards you with their cup of love high in the air saying, hey, I'm coming with love. So someone is in romantic pursuit of you. Now, this could also be vice versa. So the six of pentacles, someone that shares. Now, I don't want to sort of jump to conclusions and assumptions, but sometimes they say with the six of pentacles and the knight of cups, this person may be sharing even how they um, treat other people around them. So I need to see what else comes through. Okay, a page of cups. Hmm, interesting. A page of cups is a brand new crush, like even newer than the Knight of Cups, because the Knight of Cups is someone you already know and have feelings for. But the Page of Cups is a new pursuant that just introduced themselves, like, and you just discovered, hey, I've got feelings for this, this person. That may be why Six of Pentacles is out there because you may be having feelings for someone that you've been seeing for a while and is actually coming in. And, you know, they may also, you know, this could be talking about you only or the two of you, like, um, may still be seeing other people, okay, for some of you. Um, and the Page of Cups is actually someone who's not really like that because the Page of Cups is, <laughs> excuse me, usually someone who's quite um, innocent to, you know, like seeing other people and that they're a lot more innocent. They're coming in a lot more purely. Okay, so the Four of Swords is saying, I'm tired of this. I need to take a break. Okay. Um, that's literally what the Four of Swords is saying. So this could be you or this could be someone around you. Your Page of Cups could be coming to say, I'm actually tired of this. They may be saying for some of you, this is just like a little personal message that's coming through for somebody, that they're tired of seeing other people. They they don't want, like if the Four of Four of Cups or something comes through there. That's what I know that's saying. They don't want the Six of Pentacles where they're sharing, um, you know, you. They don't want to share you. They might come in and say, I'm actually tired of this. So that's for someone out there. Let me know if that was your message. The Knight of Wands. That's another passionate interest coming towards you. So, um, you know, two Knights. And a page that's obviously saying, yes, yeah, some of you may be taking interest in other people um, because you're not exclusive with anyone really just yet. Okay. And yeah, having that decision that needs to be made, it's like which which way should you go um, and what what needs to be done because possibly you don't want to hurt anybody. You know, it's like trying to avoid hurting anybody. You, if you know, you might like the Knight of Wands lifestyle where you're kind of mingling and just single and enjoying yourself. The Two of Wands is saying maybe a decision needs to be made, and yes, somebody will get hurt in the process. The Emperor, Emperor is saying, however, it's time we take control of the situation five of cups with the ten of swords is definitely saying somebody will be hurt so if you have to choose between one or another it may be time to make your decision and the ace of pentacles that that's saying in turn when you make your decision 
on who you're going to love or be with or you know with or you may not choose anybody ace of pentacles is saying it's going to help you be grounded you'll be more grounded and more centered within yourself because pentacles is all about being grounded also material things you may be getting some money uh some of you coming in towards you however the ace of pentacles is very much about being grounded stable secure now let's go ahead and clarify get some more guidance and insight tell me more about this for deck number two a tower okay a tower is a sudden unexpected change okay um in regards to business ooh, might be a really good um tower because a tower with the nine of pentacles it means business is going to flourish suddenly do you know what i'm saying the tower is like some sudden change that's gonna you know change everything all in a matter of moments and the nine of pentacles is saying business is going to flourish and will be celebrating okay business is going to go wild for you looks like things are going to improve and that way you can make some positive decisions for your future but also the three of wands is saying that this is actually something that you could see happening you kind of knew it was going to happen it was just a matter of waiting wow that's cool you better let me know what that means and if it resonated with you lots of messages for many of you all right now if you liked it please do click like and don't forget to subscribe helps my channel grow and as always i send you love peace and light bye for now